Hey, it's Renee Roth coming to you live, your online natural therapist and home impact. I want to talk to you about a topic which often doesn't get a lot of airing. And this is about the ingredients in your laundry powder. Being in practice for 35 years as I have, I'm often seeing cases of eczema, dermatitis, rashes, allergies, also from a respiratory perspective, uh, particularly like asthma. And from time to time, these ingredients in laundry powders will contribute to skin conditions and respiratory issues. So it's really important that you use a safe, clean labeled product. Because I think the question to ask yourself when you're looking for a laundry powder is, number one, how clean is it gonna get your clothes? But number two, and more importantly, how clean is the product? So really important to choose a clean labeled product that's gonna support your clothing, but also your health long term. So quickly, let's explore some of the issues related to the ingredients in your run-of-the-mill laundry powders because what the concern is here, that many laundry powders will leave residues of the cleaning agents and the fillers and, and the fibres on your clothes. You wear your clothes, obviously there's very close contact with your skin. The content of those chemicals um, connect with the skin, so therefore we may have the issues of dryness, redness, itching, to the point potentially of these allergic dermatitis and eczemas, but it's also the fact that once you have contact with the skin, the potential is there to cross the skin because the skin's actually a carrier, not just a barrier, it should be a barrier, but it's a carrier. So any of these ingredients can cross uh, transdermally over the skin and into your cells and through your bloodstream and then obviously gets circulated around your body. So we've got definitely concerns around that. But some of these ingredients, particularly the sodium lauryl sulfate, it's a very common foaming agent. You find that in many cleaning products. It's whether the mechanic uses it to decrease your car engine or it's in your shampoo, it's in your body washes, it's in your dishwashing liquid, and of course it's in your laundry powders. So it's implicated in many skin conditions. Uh, it also accumulates in the body. So you certainly want to absolutely get a laundry powder that's SLS free. Um, many laundry powders, the sheer volume and the size of the packaging, why so big? They're actually full of fillers. Now, these are insoluble fibers and these also create their own range of issues as well. It's a cheap bulking agent, uh, it doesn't dissolve, so it leaves residues on your clothes. Again, there's potential for harm on your skin as a result of that. But also, all these fillers add corrosion issues to your washing machine. And I know mechanics and plumbers who work and service washing machines comment how different a machine is dependent on the brand of laundry powder that one uses. So you think, well, if it's corroding your machinery after a period of time, well, what's the potential for that damage to corrode the internals of your system as well? No, you're not consuming it, but it's the the everyday wearing of clothes washed in these products, which over time can contribute to that issue. Uh, one exposure is not a drama, but you're wearing clothes every day and you're washing probably most days or at least a few times a week. So that certainly is, is a risk. The other concern particularly is the inhaler, inhalation of all the, these volatile compounds and the fragrances. How many times do you walk down the aisle of the supermarket and just get this toxic plume of these synthetic fragrances, and we know these synthetic fragrances cause allergies and asthma and reactions. We know that they are also typically endocrine disrupting chemicals, so that's contributing to an obesity epidemic, it's contributing to fertility issues and so forth. So that's a, a definite issue, as well as they, the fragrances, again, leaving residues on your clothes because you can smell the clothes. Um, after they have been washed. And particularly if it's a, it's a harmful synthetic fragrance, which you know most of them are, that's definitely a category of concern. Many of these laundry powders contain as bleach and dyes. Again, uh, bleach, sodium hydrochloride, is banned in many countries around the world. In fact, in Germany, I know for a fact that it is banned. And so here in Australia, you know, it's, it's in the aisle next to the food, which is a, an, an absolute oxymoron. So the bleach adds to the toxic load, whether it's the skin contact or the inhalation, obviously a concern. But even the Environmental Protection Authority warns around the risk of bleach actually contributes to the degradation and deterioration of the fibres in the clothes, so there's more breakdown. And if you're putting those um, clothes in a dryer, with the increased breakdown of these fibres, you have more lint, which increases the, the fire risk as well. 
drying your clothes, you get also the um, uh, into the atmosphere these these organic compounds, and they are also at a risk of inhalation. And seven of the twenty five, which a study identified, were found to be harmful too. Other things that are often in laundry powders is high phosphate and sodium content, and this obviously is a, a major concern to our environment. And we have to be environmental stewards and, and look after our planet, look after our world, because our waterways are becoming increasingly toxic. So I believe we all have a, a, an important role to play by choosing a clean label product, which is not going to contribute to the toxic load in our world, in our environment. So low phosphate, low sodium. And so I, I choose a particular brand which is clean labelled, it's safe and non-toxic, it's grey water friendly. So when we had the drought here gone from Melbourne uh, a few years back, we certainly hooked up our machine to our garden and no issue at all with our plants and our gardening. So in essence, what I, I think is really key, you want to select a product that one that works, has safe clean label ingredients, is biodegradable, rapidly biodegradable, so it breaks down quickly and doesn't leave harmful, harmful residues in our body and also in our environment. It's environmentally friendly. Of course, it's grey water friendly. That's our experience. And it actually works. And it works on some really great signs. Ionic and ionic compounds, um, protease enzymes to break down the proteins, like the, the blood that may get on your clothes. Well, what are you up to if that happens? But anyway, um, you know, the nosebleeds and, and whatever the accidents, but also the grass and the oils and so forth. It's extremely economical. This is a, a one kilo box that, that I use. And in terms of the, the price per load, it's significantly uh, cost effective. Because it doesn't have the fillers, you're buying one kilo box and they can last, if someone's doing multiple loads uh, a day, and I know some, some families are doing that because of the volume of clothes and the kids that they might have, minimum, you know, four to six weeks. But I know people that it will last them six to eight months. And yes, they may be washing it a few times a week, but you only really need a small amount. And that's the other mission that I think is really important of environmental uh, conscious companies is that we don't want to add to the landfill. So why have all this packaging? Why? And it's obviously in, in a box, so that's uh, recyclable packaging as well. Um, so the concentration is what's really key. The fact that it contains more uh, natural types of ingredients that are, are safe for the environment, that's not going to add to that load, nor add to that load on your body as well. It's a low sudsing formula, so it's good for your top loaders and your front loaders. Um, and it's made here in Australia, so it's really formulated for our conditions here in Australia with our strong sunlight. And another benefit with this product, when you have this product in the sun, it, it can, as in you've washed your clothes and it's out there on the line, it contributes to the brightness and the whiteness of your colours as well. So we've had many examples, and we've been using this particular one for years on end now. And so what we've got here, I remember my daughter having a, a curry stain on a white jacket and stuck it in the wash and um, put hang it down the line and noticed there was a still really, really light, faint mark left after the washing. You, you all know with, with curries and the turmeric, how yellow, um, golden orange that is and the, and the stain that can leave. But over those couple of hours out on the line, that mark actually disappeared. And I've seen this many times. You can do your own experiments at home. There's a great test with some beetroot. Get some beetroot juice, put a, a, a tablespoon in two glasses of water, put a, a traditional um, a teaspoon of your, your run-of-the-mill laundry powder in one glass and put a teaspoon of this one. And you watch the difference over a couple of minutes. So it just shows the level of effectiveness and the level of effectiveness in stain removing. And of course, you want a laundry powder that's going to work and do the job. And then at the same time, it's clean labelled and it's going to support your health and well-being. So my concern as a naturopath is multifold. It's about looking after our, our world and our environment by using a clean label product. But as a healthcare practitioner, I'm seeing so many issues around toxic load, uh, the, the local irritation to the skin, with, with particularly with the children with excellence, because their skin is, is very sensitised. So the dryness, the redness, the itching, the allergic dermatitis, and also the allergies and asthma. And you're going to go a long way by embracing a live clean philosophy, by at least using a laundry powder that is safe and non-toxic. So hopefully that's given you a little bit of a, an insight into how we can live cleaner and greener, how we can use safer products and improve the health of our, our well-being, our kids and our families and yourself too. 
So I hope you found it of help. You know, add an emoji, a smiley emoji in the, the comments if you found this of benefit. If you need more information, feel free to connect with me and enjoy the day. Live clean, live green, live bright and live healthily. Cheers now.